Linda here, Serene and Simple Life, here with my good friend, Anita. Hey, Anita. Hey, Linda. We are four hours and 43 minutes away from the eclipse, the total, total. solar eclipse. eclipse. Solar. Do you think the end, the world's going to end at that point? What a glorious way to go, but the Navajo people think that this is a time of rebirth of the sun. The oh. sun dies in this rebirth. Okay, all right. So, and there's about 10 or uh, 20 more theories out there of what's going to happen. Yeah, and I don't know which one's right. I know, and you know what? There might be an earthquake too, I hear. Oh, cool. Oh, cool, huh? <laughs> I know. I've never experienced an earthquake firsthand. I've had some rattlings in California that were kind of a little bit spooky, but you know. I, I experienced an earthquake in the back country in California. Did you? Yes. And they, what I have to say is, you know what? If you know Jesus and you know where you're going when you die, this is all very insignificant that's, <laughs> in the bigger scheme of things. And that's my thoughts too. Awesome. So this is the, this is Lake Darnell. Darnell. Darnell State Park. Lots of people out, but not crowded in the least. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the last video. Um, had to just do it into two parts because it was just getting a little too long. Too long for one video. You know something, Anita? I had somebody tell me one time, that if it's longer than 15 minutes, they don't watch it. What's your take on that? Uh, I watch a couple channels where the videos are routinely 30 minutes up to an hour. Wow. And uh, I think it just depends on the video. Yeah, yeah. So you probably think with Serene and Simple Life, they should watch the whole thing. Otherwise, they're missing out, huh? Yeah, I think they are. <laughs> Thanks, Anita. <laughs> I knew you'd agree with me. Go. I love Russellville, at least for today. I love wherever I'm at. This is beautiful. Just a little bit more here. Anita and I are really enjoying this stroll. Boy, it would be fun to walk up to people and interview them too, where they're from and why they're here but i am going to talk to anita in a minute and ask her why she decided to come so as soon as we're finished with the walk we'll go back and have a little chat is that okay with you anita yeah that's fine okay cool people getting ready Getting ready. Armageddon. No, it's a total solar eclipse. Just a wowsy day. Just about two more hours till the sun starts to go across the sky. <laughs> and there is a serious setup there. We talked to him. He's all set up to be southwest and to do time lapses. So see, I don't even have to film the solar eclipse, guys. It's gonna be a million other people doing that. Though I know I would probably wreck the lens, so I'm not even gonna try. 
from up above. Anita and I just went in the visitor center. Yep. Traffic's coming in now. This gentleman has been working here since last night and it's about 11 a.m. right now. Just think if we had waited, Anita, the traffic oh goes on for miles here. It does. Miles and miles. I'm so thankful that we were able to get up and get going. Got some major homes on wheels here. Unlike Anita and I with our minivan and SUV, although we do have everything we need just like these folks, but it is nice to have an area. There they go, the hard workers. Lots of people working so that all of us can have a fabulous time. Security here as well. Wow. Hey, Anita. We have 44 minutes. What you looking at? I'm looking through these eclipse glasses and I am seeing the sun with a big old bite taken out of it in the right uh, corner of it. It is so cool. Wow. And how's the clouds? No clouds, huh? Nope, no clouds. No clouds. Look at you. You look like a pro, like a professional, like you've done this before. Yeah, well, I, the last time I did it with the card with the pinhole in it, looking down in, in a pond, and it was only, I think, 65 or 75%. Okay. I don't remember ever doing anything like this. I'm so excited to be here. And it's 44 minutes till the actual totality. And it's just been an amazing day. So obviously, Anita, I guess I've asked you several times, the excitement of being here. And of course, it's a natural phenomenon. You know, it's just, it's just amazing to be here. Um, I think you would agree, the friendship and everything that we've done today has just been so much more fun not strolling around by ourselves. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but what do you think? What, what What's your excitement as we're like at countdown time? Well, it's just, it's like looking at pictures people have taken of stuff. You, you can't describe it. The picture's too small to describe nature and the, the beauty of the world around us. And uh, it's just, just amazing. And then you're feeling too and hearing and yeah, that's true because they they were saying like we're not going to hear the birds chirping, everything's going to go quiet. Yeah, I, I can't wait. It, it's all the senses involved and you can't get that from a video. Right, right. Yeah. So, wow. Yeah, I just we've been here since 6:30 this morning and here we are. And you had to put up with me asking you and cloud <laughs> cover and you know everything that I did in the previous video if you didn't see that my my doubt and my uh you know is this worth it and I know I've already put my glasses on and seen what you were talking about and it is really really cool. So, um I think I'll do that again um in a minute here. But um I mean anything else you know oh i was gonna say these were bought at a re reputable u.s distributor walmart oh, okay and you'll notice it has the little made in america flag it sure does and then the iso okay and then all the other safety stuff safety stuff i know you said you were paying attention to the conforms to and meets the transmission requirements of iso filters for direct observation of the sun Wow, Anita, we're styling. And I know that was one of the first things I asked you is if you had two sets of glasses because I didn't know if I'd have to go. So I really feel like God has orchestrated all of this with you and I to be here today. Who would have thunk that, you know, three months ago when we said goodbye in Arizona that you and I would be sitting here today? Yeah, I, I'm i so gl glad we are, though. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's been a 
true blessing. Yeah, for me too, Anita. I mean, we just enjoyed hamburgers and french fries that you and I are trying to uh, steer clear of. <laughs> and we enjoyed every bite of that. Uh, yeah. yeah, walking around in the visitor center and buying a couple little stickers and souvenirs. I mean, just everything is just, it's just delightful to have had you to stroll around with. And and up to this, this time now, whether whether it's Armageddon, the rapture, or just another nature phenomenon. <laughs> it does not a better place to go if you had to go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, seriously. Look. Yeah, yeah, that's really, really true. So yeah, thanks, Anita. Thank you for letting me know that you were gonna be doing this because it really spiked my interest then. All right. And Anita, like you said, like this is 150 miles, right? radius how big yeah. this is of yeah the total yeah yeah and when i'm looking there the sun looks small you know the moon looks small but it's ginormous yeah right yeah, yeah. it is yeah just going across going across the country who would have thunk i don't know this is it's going to be a no words experience i think i think so too <laughs> all right Let's keep watching. Oh, so peaceful here. Wow. Hammocks over there, some children, family, dogs, and Anita and I. Hey, Anita, you were saying something a minute ago, you asked me. Hey, can you feel that the temperature's starting to drop? You know, actually I can. And then the wind's picked up just ever so slightly? Yes. Yeah, it has something to do with the the gravitational pull of the moon uh, against the atmosphere. Wow! And w you're seeing now it's not quite half, right? Yeah, it's it's not quite half, but we're getting pretty close. Yeah, and I think it's about 120 right now. So, all right. So you're you're pulling it all in with your senses, huh? Yes, I am. I'm glad you brought that up, that, that different feeling we're having now. Hey, Linda, it's 1.37 now. Are you seeing anything different? Yes, actually, it looks like a waning crescent moon right now. I think uh, we're so close. I think we're, we're like 11, 12 minutes away, Anita, from the total eclipse. Oh, cool. that I have been talking to you about for a week <laughs> <laughs> along with uh, a million videos all right okay guys this is it till the total we're three minutes away I hope you can see just how dark it has gotten here <laughs> Anita it's getting really dark isn't it yes it is yeah such an awe-inspiring place. Okay, I've got my glasses on. I'm looking up and it literally is just a sliver, guys. A sliver. Beautiful sunset. It's supposed to last four minutes here. There's a star in the sky. Unbelievable. Wow. Just a no words experience, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support and your love and your prayers. It has been an amazing time experiencing a total solar eclipse. The sun is coming back and uh, it was four minutes here, lasted for four minutes. Got a lot of pictures, I'll add some at the end. 
and uh, just a, a beautiful, peaceful experience, praising and thanking God from whom all blessings flow, including the sun, moon, and the stars. And blessings in your day and joy in your journey. I love you guys.